Alright guys, Captain Fury here today. I'm using a pistol and adrenaline. I am using a Mach 4 pistol. Um, this is actually a really uh, good example of how to use it. I'm using David. Why? Because he has 100% uh, percent clip capacity. This is a level 1 Mach 4 pistol. I repeat, level 1 Mach 4. So, uh, the key to using a pistol, the reason I like David is the, the extra clip capacity. Um, the pistols run out of ammo pretty quickly. A lot of people don't use pistols, but if you are going to use a pistol, David is a pretty good pick. Um, Varg would also be good, or Valera for you uh, who have all the epics, um, if you ha haven't got them. Just uh, anyone with a bigger clip capacity. Uh, as you can see, I'm trying to take out guys that, uh, you know, I can flank. I can take, a, take their back or take an angle on them. I don't really want to go head on. This guy I tried to head on, but see, as I rolled, it takes him a, a while to aim. My pistol, really, I can utilize at close range and not have to worry about uh, aiming too much. So I took that guy out, but here, I ran into a group of three guys head on, and what ended up happening is I got taken down. So, I'm also using adrenaline. Why am I using adrenaline? It makes it so I can strafe faster, harder to uh, take aim at, I can really run up on my opponents. Um, so... As you can see here, this guy, he's got a pistol. I'm going to throw out a grenade. I tried to cause damage, didn't hit him. So again, I used my adrenaline. I got stuck there. So I'm going to abandon him, try to take a flank, reload in the process. I see this gas. Throw out some uh, grenades. Try to clear the gas so my uh, teammates can get through there to defend that point. Team play is extremely important. So I got a flank here. That was against a shotgun. Like I said, got my shots off uh, and ended up uh, getting uh, an assist or a kill there. Um, I see that there was a jeep. I want to try to take that jeep out of play. I uh, don't want anyone using uh, vehicles. Vehicles are extremely uh, dangerous in the right hand. So if I'm not driving them, I'm going to blow them up. Um, so again, I see that guy has damage. There's a heavy machine gun. I'm going to get out of the way, take out this guy if I can, uh, or provide an assist. Um, so I know there's a heavy machine gun out there. I don't want to run at that guy straight on. So if I can, I'm going to flank. So I throw out my grenade, roll out of the way. He ends up uh, getting hit by my grenade, take him out. Again, here's the guy uh, doing battle. My uh, teammate took him out, but again, I was trying to take his backside. Uh, you never really want to run full on at an opponent. See right there? Try to run full on at the opponent, and he just took me out. David is good at charging opponents. He has very, very uh, high health. He can absorb a lot of damage. That's why people use him as a heavy machine gunner. But uh, he's also pretty good with the pistol. It's not too bad of a weapon um, to use with David. So again, I see uh, uh, my teammates taking fire there. He caused some damage. So I'm going to see if I can uh, run up on this guy with adrenaline. Um, and I'm use utilizing the pistol. I run by him, but see how I aim really quick because I span around. So that's the benefit of using a pistol. So came into two guys, a UU-10, which is Mark VI, and a level 7. Uh, that's a pretty powerful gun I'm going up against. And a Varg level 7 none nonetheless. I believe my David is a level... Uh, level four level five right now so varg also has quick aim so again utilizing the pistol i see this guy i'm gonna try to chase him down he's trying to uh pull out his heavy machine gun so i'm gonna stick to my pistol this whole time against this heavy machine gun and it's a david so david has pretty high health so up here i'm gonna do a double flank what i mean is not run on the quickest path but here i'm gonna roll towards him uh, go to the side, uh, I see that he's just trying to back up and use that heavy machine gun on me, um, so what I'm gonna do here is try to flank him, take his side before he can aim, uh, get a couple of shots off, hit him with my pistol, get a couple more shots off, and bam, I take him out. So as you can see, even against a, a heavy machine gun, if you're strong, you know, do your push-ups, uh, it'll, it'll make you run faster. So do some push-ups and, uh, you know, train so you can take out those heavy machine gunners. Alright, so here, i uh, got about 35 seconds, gonna throw out my grenade, cause a distraction for that guy, see if I can wound him, I didn't. Throw out another grenade, uh, see, so the reason I'm throwing out grenades and trying to cause just a little bit of damage, doesn't matter if I hit him or not, the important part of it is just cause some damage so I can really utilize this, uh, this low, low range pistol. If this was a forest turkey or otherwise known as a desert eagle, it would, you know, probably be better. And again, this is uh, Mach 4, and it's, it hasn't been upgraded. So this guy, he's already taking damage. Going to hit him from the back right there. I'm going to run up on these guys, roll through, finish this guy off if I can, take some cover, but I get hit straight on. 
Um, so that again is a uh, that's a Mark IV level five weapon, and it's an assault rifle. Um, so all in all, we lost this match. Uh, but again, let's uh, take a look at who we were up against. Um, I always like to look at the equipment, see how I stacked up, because it's not necessarily always about equipment. And you guys might say, oh, well, he lost because he was using the pistol. And that could be true. But let's take a look at the score. Um, so I was in the top, but level 7, mark 6, level 6. Uh, again, mark 6, level 15. Um, this guy is just... Uh, Mark three five, but I am second best on my team uh, in in kills and just overall. So David is pretty good to use uh, to use your uh, pistol with. Uh, definitely a consideration. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe.